Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to cure fever in infants. Now, to talk about that, we first of all need to define an infant, and we need to define a fever. The fever that worries me the very most occurs in a baby who is less than three months of age. That would be a newborn. A newborn fever can be very concerning and often requires hospitalization to address. The most significant of these fevers occurs in babies who are under one month of age. Up to four weeks, any fever occurring in an infant is almost guaranteed to lead to at least a two-day hospitalization. Why is that? Well, that may be the only sign that we have that that baby has a very serious infection of the bloodstream or the brain or the urine that requires IV antibiotics. And we often don't know until we get all of our studies back, a process which can take two days. So what is a fever in that baby? Ideally, we'd get a rectal temperature. If that temperature is greater than 100.4 degrees or 38.0 degrees centigrade Celsius, we consider that a fever. But honestly, if it's anywhere close to that, if you're getting one over 100, go ahead and bring your baby in to see the doctor because it may be that you missed that fever when it was at its height. Your doctor is going to want to recheck. Likewise, in newborns, a temperature under 97 degrees rectal is just as alarming, if not more alarming, for all the same reasons. Now, for the next couple of months of life, Fever remains very concerning and often requires hospitalization, but you've got a little bit more wiggle room to look for a cause. So definitely bring your baby into the doctor if they're under three months of age and have a fever. However, uh, there's some possibility that your baby will not necessarily be hospitalized under those circumstances, depending on what the doctor sees on exam. Now, in babies over age three months, you've got a slightly different scenario. The questions are, how high is the fever? How long has it been going on? And is there an obvious source for the fever? A fever over 105 degrees rectal uh, would suggest that we need to see that baby immediately. That's probably significant illness. We don't know what because we haven't seen the baby yet, but it deserves an immediate evaluation to see what's going on. Uh, the fever itself is not going to harm your baby, but whatever is causing the fever may well. For a fever between 104 and 105, we're still concerned enough that we really want to see that child within 24 hours of the fever starting. However, it's not quite considered as emergent as a fever over 105. For fevers under 104, if it goes on for 24 hours or more and there's not an obvious cause, again, we're going to want to assess the baby. Why is that? Well, the most common cause of those fevers is a urinary tract infection, and if it's causing a fever, we think it's involving the kidney. That is a dangerous infection that may cause kidney damage, sometimes permanent kidney damage, and it needs to be appropriately treated. So, the simplest fevers are those in babies who do not have a fever over 104 degrees and have an obvious cause of fever. So maybe your baby has a runny nose, stuffy nose, cold. It's okay in those cases to let the fever go for a couple of days before bringing the baby to the doctor. Actually, three days of fever may be quite normal. However, if your baby is tugging at his or her ear, seems excessively fussy, isn't eating very well, seems to be having any problem at all with breathing, that's still a child who should see the doctor. So, bottom line, under the age of one year, I have a really low threshold for evaluating a fever. Under the age of three months, I have to see it immediately, and under one month, it is absolutely emergent. Also, over 105, emergent. Talking about dealing with fever in infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.